good morning my dear students so today before starting our class let me start ask you a question whenever you need to go to any places how do you go there sometimes we walk but if the distance is not walkable then we use motorcycles cars buses and sometimes we use aeroplanes trains and also boats and ships i know that most of you have traveled through buses cars trains aeroplanes but have you ever traveled in a boat or in ships so students why am i asking you regarding all the all these uh, sources of traveling because today we are going to read a story where there is a description of traveling through the sea route via ships so students and this is our chapter number 4 and student the name of the chapter is the story of grace darling so students at first let me read it out for all of you grace darling was born on november 24 1815 She lived with her family on one of the Farne Islands in the Longstone Lighthouse. Her father was the lighthouse keeper and his job was to keep watch day and night for ships in trouble at sea. Grace didn't go to school but she kept busy all day with her studies and needlework. She helped her mother in keeping the house clean and tidy. And sometimes she would help her father to keep the lantern burning all the time. She knew in darkness ships could easily hit the rocks. But the warning light would help them to avoid the danger. Grace Darling had grown to be a strong, brave young girl. In 1838, a steamer, SS Forfarshire, was travelling from Hull to Dundee. On the night of September 7, the ship was hit by a powerful storm. It was flung against the rock. Grace Darling and her father William heard the loud bang and woke up with a start. They ran to the window and saw the ship broken into two. In the darkness of the night, above the noise of the winds and waves, they heard screams and wild cries. So students, I am not going to read any more today. this much will be enough as we are going to make a discussion on these two paragraphs today so students now let me give you a summary of these two paragraphs so the story is about a small girl whose name was grace darling and she was born on november 24 1815 Grace Darling used to live in Farne Island in the Longston Lighthouse and her father the name of her father was William he was the housekeeper of that lighthouse and his job was to look after the ships in trouble at the C So students William means 
Gray Starling's father was a housekeeper of the lighthouse in the Fern Island. So, students, lighthouse is the it is a kind of farmhouse that can be found near the seas mainly and these houses are made in order to help the travelers and William was a keeper of that lighthouse of the fur island and his job was to look after the ships the people the travelers who got stuck in the sea uh, during the nights or during some trouble uh, or during the storms in the sea and he also used to help the people who got stuck in that sea and grace darling she did not go to school but she used to spend whole day in studies and her needle work and apart from this she also helped her parents sometimes she helped her mother in cleaning their house and she used to also help her father to keep the lantern clean so that it can burn all the time all the day and night because she knew that people who used to travel through the sea they can easily hit the rocks of the sea because of the darkness at night that's why a warning light means the light of the lantern can be helpful for them to avoid such kind of danger that's why we william and grace darling they used to clean their lantern regularly and keep it burning all day so that the travelers do not get into any kind of trouble so after many years Grace darling she grew up to be a very strong and a very brave girl and in the year 1838 a steamer whose name was SS Forfarshire it was traveling from Hull to Dundee but on 7th september at night the ship was hit by a sea storm and the ship moved against a rock grace darling and william heard the bang sound of the ship that banked against the a huge rock of the sea they immediately woke up and they went to their window then from there they saw that the ship broke into two pieces as it was a stormy night that's why they were also getting the noises of the winds and waves and they also heard the loud screams and the wild cries of the people who got stuck and who was drowning in the deadly sea so students this is the summary of the first two paragraphs that we have read today i hope that you have all understood it very well and student still if you have not understood any part of it you can ask me in the comment section and student for today's class there is a task for you because here i am not giving you any home assignment as this is the very first class of 
this chapter that's why there is no home assignment but there is a task for you and the task is to find out the difficult word from these two paragraphs and let me know in the comment section and students after getting your difficulties your of the words that you have not understood then i'll tell you the meanings of that words in the next class so that's why student please don't forget to ask me or comment me your difficulties and student there is a notice from the school's side that your handwriting books and copies are now available at the school you may go at any time to the school to collect your handwriting books and copies but you have to carry your receipt and book list with you whenever you went to you go to school in order to collect your handwriting books and copies so students thank you so much this much is enough for today in tomorrow's class we will read the next few paragraphs of these chapters and i shall give you the word meanings that you will let me know in the comment section thank you so much